Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at treehugger.com. We got three different articles from them, all about small-scale hydroelectric power. This one pictured is ultra-small-scale, made out of recycled plastic bottles. It's got a little stream of water over here, and the stepper motor is inside this other plastic bottle. A stepper motor is also called a brushless motor. It's an electric motor that has permanent magnets in there, which can easily be used as a generator. Now, this system is practically temporary. They have a little voltage regulator hooked up here for uh, cell phone charging. This one is actually made from used CDs with a little bit of material in the middle. Now, if you have a little bit of water coming down, even uh, gutter downspouts, maybe, you could capture some of that falling energy. I want to mention that 3% of U.S. dams have electrical generators on them. 3%, but they generate 10% of our electricity. We have a huge opportunity with small-scale hydroelectric power for a lot of the smaller dams. And this guy here, he built a small-scale DIY micro-hydroelectric power plant. This is his turbine. Nice curvature on there. And he dropped it a good amount of elevation here. And if you can focus that into a small stream, like a jet stream, that can just shoot the water stream against this propeller, this impeller, well, you can generate a lot of power and as long as the water's flowing, you got yourself electricity. These are three different systems that prove small-scale hydroelectric power is feasible. Not only at the home level, but at the hobby level, at the science experiment level for kids' science fairs, and even for the small-scale industrial model for all those dams that don't already have generation on them. Well, you can follow the links in the description below to read more about these interesting systems. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.